Hey, what is up guys? No subscribers guy back again after quite a long time and to be honest all I can do is explain myself. I've been I've been working on another project at the time, this current time, quite a nice project I actually think it is. But I've been running behind on my schedule because of you know life just getting in the way and stuff. So unfortunately I haven't been able to finish it for the next upload I was planning. So today I'm just gonna have to fill in with a continuation of the house I was doing from last time. But I was going to interrupt sort of this this house with, with that other build, but that doesn't matter. We'll get this house done, and then, you know, hopefully by next time we'll have that other build finished and completed. And and hopefully it'll be done, so that'll be, that'll be good. But for now, we're back onto this house. So we're here, we're here, we're doing alright at the moment. I think we could, we could branch this house out a bit. One, two, three. Sandstone. One, two, no. One, two, three. Come in line with there. Sandstone. But then bring it out again. One, two, three. Two of you. One, two, three. One of that. So we've got this new wall sticking out here. Then here, I'm gonna bring it up to this height again. And build up these sort of sandstone frames, if you will. So five high, four high, one, two, three, four, five high. Now here, I'm gonna use sandstone, smooth sandstone to be precise. Not just sandstone, because there's many different types of sandstone now. But in between, we'll place standard sandstone blocks. Just, I don't know, just because we can. But I do what I want. No, I'm joking. There we go. Then, of course, the window frames. Now, I want this. So, I don't want the whole house to look completely universal, but I do want this side. Universal, uh, uniform even. I want. I don't want the whole house to look uniform, but what I do want is this side to look slightly more uniform than the rest. Just to add a bit of order to chaos, maybe I don't know. Or just because we want it to, we can do it. The thing is, well, I think I, I personally fall short, and, and a lot of other people do fall short when building, is when your house is the same all the way around. So it's, it's the same on the front, same on both sides, and same on the back. So I think, you don't see that in, 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 in reality, you don't see houses that are simply the same all the way around. They're different, they're different shapes, they have windows in different places, and that's why I, f I personally feel that I let myself down with some of my builds, because they're too uniform, they're too equal, they're too the same. You've got to make a, a build that doesn't all look the same all the way around. That's what you, you got to do. And that's why I, I personally feel that I let myself down a bit when I'm building. I don't know what you guys feel, but that's how I feel I let myself down. So today hopefully we're gonna change that with this this house. Uh, there'll be a stair there, so that'll be there. I'm just gonna put in sand there for now. And we're just gonna fill this in. I want another another sort of roofy like a roof like the first one here, there, and there, there, and there. Okay, we'll have to avoid that bit for now. Don't know what we're gonna do about that bit. Uh, nope, we don't do that in there. We do that 
do do is that though, and upside down on there, slab, and, oh, no it's an upside down stair in there isn't it? It is. Let's check, yep that's an upside down stair. So we'll finish off this row here. Might hmm. do that. I'm getting stuck and confused about how we're going to join that part of the roof on, to be honest. Uh, it does look a bit messed up, but we can need to try it, at least try and need to now a bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a bay window. Bay window? I don't think it's called that. I don't actually know what these kind of windows are called, but whatever. It does look pretty good actually, these sort of little windows, and that's just to hide up this, well it's a bit of to cover up this ugly little corner that I've made. Did a slight attempt to do that, distract you from that corner by making you uh, look at that niceness that is the Boom, there. Window there. Simple little window up there. Of course, we might add another plant here. Break up just the pure sandstone look again. Might add one there, one down there like that. Plants don't grow at the same rate, things like that. Etc, etc. Continuity. Yeah, I'll just make it a little bit more nice. So now I'm getting this sort of corner look in here, which I'm, uh, I'm actually, I don't know yet, to be honest with you. I don't know how I feel about it yet. It might work, it might not work. I have to <laughs> wait and see, to be honest. Wrong way around, even. I don't know why I assumed that, uh... There we go, and we'll just finish this off. Like so, pretty simple, pretty easy. I hope you guys are not going too fast if someone is trying to follow along. Or, or just... Yeah, just pause the video. That, that always works. Oh, it's becoming night time again. So day again, I could like, much prefer working in the day. So there we go, now our home is starting to look a bit more nicer should we say, a bit nicer, a bit more big as well, not just like a tiny little cramped house it's actually starting to, to look good, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be quite sneaky and on the back here, somewhere around here anyway, I'm not too sure where probably over here, what I want to do is bring that out and then add some sort of a modern extension like a gazebo made of glass something like this um yeah let's get some wool we need some gray wool every two yeah let's do every two No, yeah, we need to move that back then. So let's do it every two. So a piece of wall, two, a gap of two, a piece of wall. Get rid of that. And then 
Let's see, how many can we fit in here? Gap of two, gap of two, gap of two. Should have thought it was a bit better. So there, gap of two each way. There we go, and then we'll just extend this out by one. So I wanted to give this house a bit of a flavour of slight and modern look. You know, a bit more glass than just this sort of pure, pure sandstone house. And we'll have glass panes in between. This will be like a modern conservatory gazebo, whatever you call it. Well, yeah, whatever you call it, uh, extension on the end. Just to make this place a little bit better. Like, two, three, four. Two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. So it's four up overall, so two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. All the way around. So it's like, it, it looks like somebody's extended this house, they've made it, they've updated it, they've modernised it, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to use wool, because in this texture pack it makes it look a bit less woolish and a bit more like of a modern building, concrete-y, oh I don't know. don't know if I dare use that word for, for building, kind of look, a bit, a bit more modern. Go over here, go over here, and in here, and here. And in here, and finally the last two windows in here. Now I'm going to extend the bottoms. Like so. Well, this will probably be where I build the back garden. Put some trees and stuff in it. Make it a bit nicer. There we go. So this is a small modern conservatory extension. Extension. <laughs> extension. So I'm going to build this uh, side up. Like so. Hmm, so what are we gonna do about the windows? I'm not too sure about how the windows gonna be here. I definitely want that in there. If I had like a double window in here, that might be good. I don't know. Put that in there, then just get some. Uh, spruce leaves. I couldn't remember what type of leaf they were for a second there. You know, grow it up the side, all the way up there, so it's kind of growing up a bit. Maybe do it if it's, you know, it's growing out like that. Yeah, that might be good. Yeah, something like that. It just looks like it's growing a bit more uncontrollably on this side. Like spewed over the plant pot and stuff. Yeah, that'll do. Um, you know, I'm actually stuck on, on what to do here. Because this, this side of the house that sort of looks at the hill, you wouldn't have that many windows put in it, would you? Well, there is also the question is, do we always need a window on each side? We just do that. Make that a wall.
There we go. So yeah, that's some sort of wall, just because it, it's, it's on looking the... Well, a wall of dirt, so yeah. We'll, we'll have it like that. So we've got this going now. We just need to finish off this area. It's not too difficult. And then... We should get on finishing the outside of the house. Which would be great. Okay, so what distance is, is here? That's three. Three. We could do that actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Just uh, for the reasons that I can. So then, like so. Um, no, let's do. Let's do just standard sandstone up here. And then uh, then this to night again so today body so yeah hopefully this house will turn out actually or all, all, all right to be honest I'm hoping now you can hope for one thing and you might get another result. Do that, do that. Then we've got this problem in the middle. Could be resolved by doing that. Which then sort of blends it all in. I'm putting that there. Just to blend the whole roof shape in a bit. So the roof, one roof is taller than the other, which I quite like. It's a subtle sort of height, but it does make a difference to, to how uniform the building looks overall. This is all probably one of the main sides of the house. So there, like that. And yeah, I think that's looking pretty good on most sides. Obviously this side's a bit more... I can add a few leaves on here since it's now just a wall. Like that, some sort of like plant just growing out of control on that wall. I think that would look quite nice down there. We've got this conservatory sort of thing, we can look out. Modern extension to an old building. Then we can finish off this wall and then we can finish off the roof for the next episode. And then hopefully we'll do the interior and then that'll be a four part inspiration series thing. And now I want this uh, to go up here. Hmm. I do not know what's off this corner yet. Just yet, we can think of something for this corner. Some of these nicer uh, blocks, something like that, anyway. Hopefully this as this gives inspiration to people as well. They're thinking of doing a sandstone style house. They can think, oh yeah, I like this, but I don't like these points. I'll change it on my design to have this, etc. And I will I'll do this differently to what I did, but you know it's up to you. I'm just trying to give some inspiration as to as to sandstone house houses, because 
be honest, I've struggled to find, I've struggled to make even good sandstone houses for many, many a generation. <laughs> uh, for a while, I've, 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 I've not found it, it's not too easy. I found it, it's, it can be quite difficult to build a house of sandstone. Just because of the difficulties involved. Then we might just extend that like that. I don't know. At least we've got all the all the walls finished. For now. All the walls finished, so next episode will be onto the roof. Or the roofers. There's many of them. Standard glass, like so. All right, there we go. Yeah, simple. Just to break up the huge roof block, it will be there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Bit of an odd, odd, odd roof in the corner there, but uh, I think it'll do. I think it. Could, I think it will work. Actually, not just do. It will work. Yeah, they just got a little window up there from the attic. Attic, whatever you call it. And look down. Not onto much. Tiny little window, but I think it'll work eventually. Then we're gonna have some sort of, of roof pattern. Effect on here. This is just initial planning for this roof, though. Not too sure how it's going to go, you know. Uh, we need a slab. Sandstone slab here. Because we are going to do that. Don't know if it's the right choice or not, but whatever's. Whatever's. <laughs> we can do what we want. And you can. If you're, if you're getting inspiration from this or even building this, you can change it, edit it, do what you want to it. I'm just, you know, I'm making this up on the spot, to be, to be totally honest, to be really honest. I'm hoping that I get something good at the end of it. Which I do actually have a good feeling about this this, this build. Hmm, that doesn't actually look too, too shabby. But we're going to leave it there for today. So that's part two. Next time we'll be finishing off the roof and starting on the interior. So there, that's all I can say is, you know, thank you for watching, and I've been the No Subscribers Guy, and goodbye.